It was a time of social unrest, of intellectual and spiritual poverty, a time of conflict in the East and at home. The people suffered from a pandemic that isolated them and took their loved ones. And with multiple popes, the church seemed divided and hurting. This was the 13th and 14th centuries, and it's what St. Dominic and the early Dominicans who followed him faced in their preaching mission. So they set out as champions of the faith and true lights of the world, working tirelessly to lead souls back to Christ. Today, we face surprisingly similar challenges. And like the earliest Dominicans, we remain zealous for souls, yearning to respond to God's call to go out into the world and preach, to bring clarity to those who are confused and hope to those who despair. This mission began in the Western United States in 1850, when Dominican friar, Father Joseph Alamany, was sent to establish the order in California. Blessed Pope Pius IX made Alamany the first Archbishop of San Francisco and challenged him to preach to lost souls captivated by the California gold rush, saying, where others are drawn by gold, you must go and carry the cross. Today, we continue in the footsteps of St. Dominic, fighting spiritual poverty by preaching in the heart of some of the West's most secular urban centers, such as Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, and Los Angeles, places now obsessed with the new gold of technology. And we protect and strengthen the faith of young people serving in campus ministries at the universities of Washington, Oregon, Arizona, Utah, Stanford, and Nevada, Las Vegas. In our battle against intellectual poverty, we teach in schools, seminaries, colleges, and universities. What's more, our own Dominican School of Philosophy and Theology in Berkeley extends the intellectual tradition of St. Thomas Aquinas, educating not only our own student brothers, but also lay students and religious from other communities around the world. Though challenges will arise, both old and new, our zeal for souls remains steadfast. So as we go forward together, let us be mindful of Jesus' promise to his church that the gates of hell shall not prevail. Join us, and together we'll set the world on fire for Christ.